So without further ado, let's say hello for the first time to Jamal Hill. There he is. Jamal, what's up, my man? I'm on. How you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, congratulations on the win. Thanks for coming on. Uh, th- that was a pretty big moment. You've had a few big moments so far in the UFC, but considering you know getting bumped up to the main event and all eyes on you, did you feel like that was the biggest moment of your young career so far? I mean, it, I mean, I guess, it, I guess it's finally getting me on the show or something, huh? Come on, man. This time, huh? What, we beefing or what? Yeah. We beefing, Jamal? Yeah, man, look, bro, look, bro, look, bro. I pay attention. I pay attention to some stuff. I seen my man's on your show, on your show last week. Yeah. I ain't get no, I ain't get no call. You know, yeah. I've been making my noise around. I ain't got no call. One of my quotes. One of my quotes that made it on your show and shit before I did. Come on. I just had to come from somebody else, I guess, B. Wow. That, okay, listen, listen. They reached out to me after the bump up. I mean, you know, I don't want to throw it on your management, but they didn't reach out to me to have you on after the bump up. I mean, why do I have to always come calling? I mean, where's the... Because you're the media. You're the media. You're the media. Yeah, me, but you yo, know you about the hot, the hot <laughs> new stuff before it come out. And you... Where, where your... Where your trending that come on baby where your sister trending that and you know what the reason between us the reason i had him on monday is because i knew you were gonna win on saturday so i have you fresh on monday he wasn't gonna be on tell me your betting slip show me your betting slip oh i you know i don't show me your bet. Bet. <laughs> uh, show me your best gc did leave. you bet on jamal did you bet on jamal gc yeah by knockout he bet on you by knockout my guy in the back show us your slip gc Hey, yeah, yeah, inbox me your betting slip. Okay. <laughs> Ariel, Ariel, we on the fence. We're going to we gonna have to shake some things out. Damn, so I didn't know we were beefing. I didn't know we were beefing. Okay, I like this. I actually like it. I feel neglected. I feel neglected. You feel neglected? All right, my bad, my bad. Okay, I'm going to change this. You're going to throw one of my quotes out there. You're going to throw one of my quotes out there, but you ain't going to, you know what I mean? Which quote? Which quote are you talking about? Which quote? The same thing you've been you've been sleeping on me and all the doctors steady waking people up, bro. <laughs> oh man, that's showing love. That's showing love. You ain't show, buddy. You no, know, you gave it to you. you no, know, you said it whenever it was quoted by by my by my brother when my brother blew it up and made it famous. You know, man. If I'm being honest, I don't know what you're talking about, but you know what? I apologize. You remember that? You remember that? You remember the quote? Uh, sleep on him and let the doctor wake him up. Yes. Oh yeah, that was a good quote. That was a good quote. Great of you. That's the greatest post fight. What was wrong with it when I said it, Ariel? Gee, what was wrong with it when I said it? I don't know. You know, else had to be the greatest post fight code ever. Is that why you're doing this interview in the car? Is that why? Because you're like, I can't be bothered with this crap. I mean, I'm too busy for this Ariel guy. I'm, Let me just... I'm, 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 I'm moving around. I'm doing stuff. You know? What? You're on the move? Yeah, I'm on the move, right? Oh, we. Nah, I got my, I got my, I'm sorry. Who do you have with you in the car? On the oh, what's up, man? What's up? I saw. I mean, I saw. I saw the hair poking through, so I had to. My cameraman and business partner. My cameraman and business partner. I thought it was your son, because uh, he's like a star now. Your son. Let me ask you about the suit. Uh, Where'd you get that suit? That was a nice. I mean, or was it a tux? It looked like a tux, actually. The one that you were wearing. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it was a tux. I got it from a uh, from a local tailoring shop. My guys, I go in there. Uh, Woodlawn Taylor. I go in there and. Uh, they get me right. But the only thing is, like, was, I go in, I go in at different times. My body is a different size and everything, so it's hard to get fitted to how I'm going to be come fight night. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true, because you lose the weight and all that. Uh, I love the fact that you brought your son out. How old is your son? Uh, he'll be 12 tomorrow. 12 tomorrow. Happy birthday to him. Was that the first time that you brought him out to an event? I was like... An event like in the UFC and things like that. He's been to my, he's been to a couple of my fights before, but nothing like that. Like as in in depth and saying, saying like the behind the scenes and the details and stuff. Right. And 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 why did you want to bring him out for this one to experience the whole thing? <laughs> um, I was already gonna bring him because it's his birthday. His birthday was coming close, and I felt like it was a good time for him to uh to get out and experience it and understand. You know, he's getting older. He's twelve. He's, he's a preteen. He's about to be a man and stuff. Um, he needs to, I wanted him to see what his dad does, see the work that his dad puts in and then, you know, the, uh, the rewards and everything like that for him. It's great. It's great. By the way, uh, you're 30, right, Jamal? Yeah, I'm 30. Man, you had your son young, huh? You became a man early. I ain't even my, he's not my, he's not even my oldest. He's got a sister. He's got a sister that's older than him. 
How old is your How old is your daughter? Your daughter's fifteen. She'll be sixteen this year. Man, look at you. Respect. You had to grow up real fast, huh? I had to. No choice. What was so, um, What was your childhood like? What was your teenage years like? Um, it was It was pretty smooth, bro. I mean, I had my daughter. I had my daughter uh, when I was fifteen. So, like, I went to school, grades. I did. I did my sports. And then, like, uh, I came home and I got my daughter. You know what I mean? Wow. Dad, I was doing my I was doing my homework, getting my daughter, changing diapers, stuff like that. And then, uh, if I wanted to go out and do something, whatever, I had to make sure my daughter was situated good, sleep, whatever, whatever I do, man. I was able to go out and do what I had to do. You know what I mean? Damn, you had to mature real fast. I mean, at, at 15, I was playing video games. I mean, I guess some older people play video games, but, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that is true. Well, so I still play video games now. You know what I mean? It's just it's all about balance, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I had a, I had a good support system. You know, my mom, my mom was there. She was there. She had my back 100. percent She had me at the same time. She said, "It's your it's your job. You, you made this. You know, you decided to you decided that you was ready to be a man or whatever. So you got to step up to that. That's man, that's what I did to the best that I could as a, as a 15 year old. Right, right, right. Uh, how many kids do you have? Two. Six. Six? Bro, you, bro, you behind, bro. You late, bro. You, you look, see, now you sounding, you sounding crazy asking these questions this far along. Bro. Why do I sound crazy? Man, we got, I mean. Everybody knows you. I'm trying to catch up for, I'm, tr- I'm trying to catch up for, you know, lost time. Hey, so you can't even watch me, baby. Did you ain't watch the Contender Series? What's that? Like one of the first things I was seeing on Contender Series. What do you mean? That show where they have you on there, you know, and they're like, oh, I'm going to give you a contract. I'm not going to give you a contract. I can't watch that. That thing makes me cringe, man. Come on. Yeah, bro, hey, tell me when, yeah. hey, hey, tell me when the Contender Series is on and they're paying you guys 25 and 25, okay? Jamal, I ain't, I ain't going to be a part of that. Hey, 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 I'm not, hey bro, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to argue with you. Though. I'm with you right there. I like that. I like that. Yeah, you guys deserve more. Do they? We need more of that, hey, need more of that talk. They give you, they give you, I, I, there's a lot of, you new to this show? We talk a lot about that fighter pay stuff here, you know? I'm I'm out here advocating for you. I'm out here on the streets advocating for you, taking bullets for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Figurative ones, not literal ones. Right, right, right. <laughs> did you did you get a bump? Keep on, keep on doing it if you get us that check. Um, did you get a bump for the main event? Yeah, you get a, a little extra. Yeah, you get a little extra for the main event. Were you happy with it? I'm always happy with extra money. You know okay. what I'm saying? But don't get me wrong. I, I understand. I understand the market and what I can generate. And I know what I what, how I want to be compensated. Right. You see, you don't think I know I about you. Perfect. I know all about Davenport University. I know all about turning down that basketball deal. Right. You went right. You were supposed to go to Davenport University, right? I was supposed to go to a hoop. Yeah, I had a, I had a partial scholarship. Yeah. See, I know. I did my research. That was said. That's been said a few times too. Oh, jeez. That's not deep. Okay. That's not deep research, Mario. You got to give me more, baby. Come on, man. Okay, okay. Come on, man. Uh, I want when I come to the show, you got to tell me something about me. Okay. Uh, check your research. Yeah, okay. Well, listen. What You played forward, right? I played all five positions. Really? You were you were like a, a young LeBron. I was a young me. <laughs> but I like LeBron. I did like his versatility and things. I took from a lot of games. It's just like when I fight, I take from. If I'm doing something, I'm, I'm obviously watching the best doing it, and I'm taking what I can, what I feel fits me. Who got you into fighting? I've been fighting my whole life. Life got me into fighting. Who got you into MMA? Um, I um I actually watched the the it was the Anderson Silva and Forrest Griffin fight played played a hand in it, but my second. Amateur fight, I actually fought my guy brother. Oh. I, he was the first one that I actually knew that I saw uh that I saw doing MMA and I was like, Yeah, bro, he did it, kind of gave me that little push and that motivation to do it. Wait, you fought your god brother. Why would you fight him? I was yeah, you know, I was young and I just got into the sport. I called him before and I talked about it. He's like, We got into it, you know what I mean? So it is part of it. So, you know, yeah. You, Nowadays, now I'm now I'm older. I don't do shit like that. You have to pay me. Right. But, you know what I mean, yeah. Now, but back then, yeah, we did. You guys cool? Yeah, we cool. That's my brother. I mean, still I don't come training. <laughs> I'm working. Long. See, fight. See, but here's the thing. Most of the people that 
people that I'm cool, a lot of people that I'm cool with and acting that like that's Oh, I lost your audio. Wait, I don't, I don't hear you anymore. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Because I lost your audio. Oh, you're back. Yeah, man, somebody's calling me. Come on, don't they know you're on this show? I mean, it's a big deal. Hey. Oh, no, oh, 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 yeah, it's got to be a big deal because I'm awesome. I mean, I'm a big deal now. Yeah. That's right. My big deal That's now. right. That, I was just waiting for you to get your first main event win. I mean, let's be honest. You you know? I had, I had, to, be, I had to become me more. I had to become me more first, huh? That's right. That's right. Yeah, I like that name. That's a good name. I like that one. I like that. You came up with that, that on the spot? My when I was a kid. Oh, really? That was my nickname when I me more was my name when I was a kid. So I just switched it to hit me more, main event more. Why'd they call you that as a kid? I have no idea. I feel I, like you know. I have no idea. I feel like you know. I have no idea. <laughs> Did you get in trouble a lot as a kid? <laughs> I got in trouble. I got into some trouble here. Well, like fights and stuff? Yeah, bro, I, got in a, I got in hundreds of fights, bro. Fought, I can't believe I can't believe there's people like you out there, Ariel, who haven't been in a fight, bro. Who says I haven't How been in a fight? Happen? Who says I haven't? Oh, you know, you ain't who said you ain't never been in a fight? You just said it. You said it. You said <laughs> you ain't never said it. You ain't never said it. You ain't never, you never, have you ever been in a fight? I don't know. My bad. My bad. I yeah. thought I heard you say you've never been in a fight. See what happens when you assume, Jamal? You make it an ass out of you and me. See, hey, look, if you had it, no. I mean, hey, look, if you had it, you had been talking to me before, I would have known this. Wow. I didn't realize there was so much hostility between us, but I like this. This actually makes me like you even more. I'm all about the hostility. This is good. This is a great. Let me tell you something. This is one of the better first appearances we've had on the show just because all we're doing is arguing with each other. I'm not really sure why we're arguing. You know, I used to work for another company that didn't let me have people like you on my show. Now, I know that could be construed in a certain way, but you had to reach a certain class, unfortunately, to get on my program. Now that I'm a free man, I'm open to everyone. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. What you mean? I, I, I gotta, I'm out here. I'm out here. Fat R, getting fat R's, R dislocations and stuff. Yeah, before I can cool. even get out. Well, I can't, I can't have you. I can't ask you to come on the show after your arm is dangling. How much did that hurt? Tell me how much that hurt. TMZ did it. Yeah, well, they're crazy. I mean, they don't have any class. What did that feel like? Tell me what that felt like. Can you put that into words? I didn't I, I, like, I, I, like at the point when it happened. Yeah. Or like in the, at the point when it happened, I didn't feel it. You didn't feel a thing. You were just sitting there, right? I wasn't sitting there. I was trying to win. <laughs> well, I mean, when it was over, I remember you were just on your knees and you were almost like in shock or something. Yeah, it was just, uh, nah, it wasn't. Nah, I was in shock, bro. It was a realization. You know what I mean, I was, I was running. I just ran. I just, I just ran the whole fight. Everything was happening right through my head that a, a thousand times, just that fast. You know, uh, and it was all right. You know what you did wrong. All right, don't nobody, nobody gets a chance. You know what I mean, nobody gets, nobody gets a shot. I'm not giving. I don't. I'm not. Whatever. It, I got. I dominated people for this long. By wherever you were uncomfortable, that's where. I, that's where I made you fight at. I need to keep doing that. I, I went to somebody, I went to his strength, a place where I knew he had a chance. You know what I mean? But I was just, I don't know, man. It was just, yeah, it was just pure arrogance, whatever. Crazy. And and in the back, it probably hit you, right? Been removed. That's been removed from my game. Oh, yeah, it hurt like a motherfucker when I got in the back. Yeah, that was a painful ass ride to the hospital. I bet. Um, and uh, does that fuel you to never be in that kind of pain again? You never want to suffer that again? Well, no, what it does, it just, it just shows me to the arrogance, bro. It doesn't, I mean, I don't, pain is part of the game. You know what I'm saying? If whenever you start to fear pain, you start to try to avoid pain. You know what I mean? You, you're trying to avoid the game, then it's time for you to do something else. Pain is part of the game. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What I took from that was what I needed to take that arrogance out of your fight. You never walk in there with that type of arrogance again. I don't have, man, nobody else needs to tell me that. I tell myself that. Don't you ever in your fucking life do that again. You know what I'm saying? For 12 years, I've been fighting. A lot of people know I've been fighting since 2010. 12 years. 12 years, I've been dominating people, everybody. And that was the one time I made that mistake, and it cost me that. It never happened again. What's up with this guy, Volkan Ozdemir, talking about you? You see that? 
don't know. I don't know, bro. He must. He, uh, he must. He must not be. My, he must have ran out of melatonin or something. Must not be sleeping too well at night. He might need some help. You want that? You want him next? You can't. You can't. You. you like, it's about imposing. It's about imposing my dominance and inciting fear. If somebody speak out like that. I can't have it. Wait, UK? You said you want to fight in March. You said what? Did you say UK? Yeah. I'm gonna get uh, as long as I'm gonna make sure as long as my body my body is good. You know, I gotta get make sure I get all my medical clearances and everything yeah. like that. Oh uh, yeah, bro. I don't, bro. Whenever I'm, I'm with this. Can I ask you that? Do this. Finish this sentence for me if you can. Jamal Hill be UFC champion by in the next year. In the next year, this time next year, you're champion already. In the next year. Well, look at you. So what's in the next year? I believe. So Yuri, you're you're thinking Yuri wins? Uh, I'm not thinking that because I know I know what Glover brings. I, be, I believe Yuri has a really good chance at winning, just based off of his flow and uh. His striking and his, and he's got power. Yeah, you know. Um, but uh, I don't know. Glover, 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 I think if Glover gets a hold of him and is able to get him down and actually put a put it on him early, I think in the first round, I think I think we see a whole different type of fight, and that actually becomes a dog fight. Something I want to see. Where are you going right now? Um, oh, okay. And why'd you do the shoey on Friday? Ah, uh, so uh, now a lot of people ain't even knows, bro. It's a lot of gyms dropped in that shoe right there, man. All right, we got the body armor to rehydrate for rehydration. Yes, you know what I mean. We got the rock shoe, right? And nobody, nobody peeped that. I even dropped the people's eyebrow for him. <laughs> and you know, uh, I had it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a test, and the test is in the shoey works. The shoey fucking works. All right. <laughs> It's like a, it turn it to, it's like knockout juice. I don't know, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You saw you saw you saw the. Oh man, they're calling you again, Jamal. He had, had a great win. You know what I mean? He had a great win. Um, that last that last the weekend before that, you know, it was a shout out to him. You know, I love I love the Aussies, bro. I've been getting a lot of love from the Aussies. Bro. Yeah, and and you and uh, Johnny yeah. Poole, I saw that picture of you guys at the PI. Did you, uh, I mean, was, was it cordial between you guys? All good? Yeah. Yeah. He was a, it was, he was a nice dude. It was cordial, but it was still that, that competitive, like, you know what I mean? I can't wait to get off in your ass. You know what I mean? It was from both sides, bro. He was, he was locked in. He was fired up about fighting me. I was fired up about fighting him. You know what I mean? We don't have to hate each other. This is, yeah, it's a fight. I look at a fight different. I've been fighting my whole life. I don't fought. I fought some of my best friends. I fought my brothers. You know what I'm saying? So legit brothers so, or God I mean? brothers, blood brothers, both, both, damn, both. Oh, I'm talking like I'm talking. We grow. I grew up different. I'm talking like I pull. I, we um, we pull up like we playing a game. We we be something simple like we we sitting up playing a game or something. You know I mean, you and one of us losing. You know, we competitive. The other one talking shit. We're like, all right, shut your white guy up. You shut up, bitch. Who you talking to? Pause the game. We go outside, scrap, and come back and play the game. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's Good crazy. Shit. Wow. How can I yeah. be your friend? I don't want to be on your bad side. How can I uh, fix this? I mean, are we cool now? Or I need full, I need full blown endorsement of Ariel Hawaii. I, I, this is, right. You're on the show. I, I, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm on the show because of what I did. Okay. I'm on the show because of what I did Saturday. I need full blown endorsement. I need full blown endorsement from Mr. Ariel Hawaii. All right. I need you to say I'm, I'm I need you to say I'm gonna be the champ. Hey, I wrote on my thing. I wrote on my thing. I said we have a new no, 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 no. I need you to say I'm gonna be the champ. Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill is going to be a future UFC light heavyweight champion. I agree with him. Within the next year, this man is fighting for a belt. You are going to skyrocket to the top. I like that Anthony Smith idea that I threw out. You didn't like it? I like Smith. I like Anthony Smith. This is a good fight. Um He's cool, you know. Um, All right, it is what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're you're I'm in, here, for You're in the family now. In this, now. It's not just gonna be like family. it's not just gonna be like the Monday after your fight. Now you're part of the rotation. You're part of if you want to be, you're part of the family now. But you know, I have one bone to pick. You're a green texter. I'm not a big fan of the green texting. You're on that Android stuff, right? I mean, I saw that and I almost canceled the appearance. I almost canceled the appearance. Hey, what is 
I, I was like, ah, oh, not another green text there. Hey, y'all gonna get off my head, man. I'm from the hood, man. Uh, my phone give out too much information. Nah, what do you mean gives out too much information? Don't believe. I saw the green. I was like, ah, oh, Brian, can we cancel this? I wasn't really down with it, but I say I'll give you a chance. And you know what? I'm happy I did. We go. We go. We go. Work. This is a virtual hug. Yeah. This is a virtual. <laughs> My man, Jamal Hill. Hey, this was fun, man. I, I, do, I do respect you, though, but I do respect you. I like that you speak your mind and stuff. You know what I mean? I'm on your regardless team. Of how it, regardless of how it is or whatever it is, bro, it's how you feel and you speak it, bro. And I, I respect that 100%. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Uh, this will not be the last appearance. Many more to come this year. And then when you win the belt, just remember who was there first, all right? We were on this bandwagon long before most. Just don't forget that, all right? Don't pick up a star and forget about the little people here, okay? All right, brother. For sure. All right, Jamal. All the best to you. Congrats on the win. Thank you. There he is, Jamal Hill. Wow, what an appearance. I mean, Connor-esque right there. Jeez Louise. He came out swinging.